everyone, my name is Elva. Welcome to Play Me Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a beautiful day. So today we are building another base game home, but this is a smaller version of my base game generations home. And I decided to build a like a regular family home using base game only. And I was kind of surprised by how fast this build come to life. Because normally when I decided to build a like family home, it will take like, I don't know, like more than three hours, almost five hours, like three to five hours. Depends on the lot size and how many bedrooms and also the like actual family members. So normally it will take like about four-ish hours, but this is somehow faster and i think that's because we're using base game only and i know it sounds silly but i feel like building with base game only sometimes is much less complicated than using with a bunch of packs don't get me wrong i really love building with some packs but sometimes i feel like building with base game only is the way to go or maybe a restricted pack belt because you don't have that many options especially if you like disable the packs that you don't want to use from origin i feel like it's way way easier and way faster which i really do enjoy and unfortunately on this build i forgot to disable the packs so I have to like sort it by base game only but it works eventually so I think it's fine and the exterior is very simple it's very I would say very basic like very realistic like the one that you can see in real life and I really quite enjoy that and I use a bunch of um, debug plants over here because they have more texture than the one that we got from the actual catalog and we have some more options of course so that's why i love the back plan so much and by the way at first i kind of limit the budget like i'm not sure 50 or 60 thousand simoleons i could be wrong but i think somewhere around that price but at the end when i halfway finish decorating the interior um, I need a little more budget so I extend the budget like 15,000 more so so clearly it's not a very star home but at the end this looks all right and building a base game star home for me is a bit hard because I feel like the items that we got from base game is a little more expensive than we got from other packs so yeah i've tried that so many times building um base game star home but it just doesn't look right and it doesn't look nice i know it's it's just looks ugly and i'm not sure why i mean my last attempt on building a base game star home was i don't know like more than eight months ago so it's been quite some time and i might have to redo that like try it once more because i still want to build something very cheap with base game only and somehow try to make it look at least nice it doesn't have to be like amazing like whatsoever but at least it looks nice I'll, I'll try that maybe one day. I don't know though. So anyway, we're on the interior part of this house and this is the kitchen. I really, really, really love this kitchen so much. I think it looks bright and airy and somehow it feels very cozy and homey, which I really do enjoy. My kitchen on my house is not as bright as this house. So my actual kitchen is black and orange don't ask me why it has those two crazy colors because i'm not sure i still live with my parents so um 
yeah, that's just their taste, not mine. So anyway, the kitchen itself is very, I would say it's a decent size for this house. But I really like that kind of a, I would say breakfast area. It's not like an island or somewhat near that but it looks kind of like an island and I don't want to put an island on that kitchen because it makes the space looks very cramped since we don't have that many like open space on this house so that's why I decided to put that it's not functional though but it looks nice so I think it's fine and this is the living and dining room so I don't know I feel like this is somewhat one of my most favorite base game home. It's very cozy and very realistic I would say. So that's why I really like this house and I love this wallpaper so much. I think they look very like classy and elegant but still looks really, I don't know, like cool at the same time. I know it's a weird explanation but i think it is so this is like the bathroom for the whole house we have another bathroom over here which is supposed to be the ensuite bathroom for the parents so you have two bathrooms and they both have um what is that not washing tube what is that shower and tub combo yes shower and tub combo so since we have twin toddlers I mean, each parent can bath them one by one on each bathroom, so that's a smart move, I think. And at first, I decided to put the bunk beds over here, but it doesn't look right. So I decided we just have to use the like regular bed, not the bunk beds version. I know it's such a disappointment, but somehow the style of the bunk beds that we got it's not really much my liking um so i've never used that like ever since we got the update so oh i'm sorry the twin children is the teen or the like children but the toddler is not a twin so i'm sorry for that i'm terribly sorry you guys but you can fit up to one two three four five sims on this house so i think it's a decent size it's a good size actually and if your toddler like age up you can simply just remove the bed because it's not a small bedroom for the toddler it's it's rather big and i think that would make a perfect teen bedroom at least for me so yeah we just have to finishing up the toddler's bedroom and i think that's that we just have to move on to the parents bedroom or the master bedroom it's a decent size it's not that big but you have a little pc over here and i tried to put a bunch of skill building items on this house so we have the pc we have the laptop not laptop actually we have the pc we have the tv and we have chest table i think yeah we have chest table and i think that's that so we have a decent amount of skill building items on this house and i think it's necessary even we got the like drawing table for the toddler so every single household member can have their own like skill building item and we have the backyard over here so the backyard is very simple we just have the grill and the um like dining set outside and maybe a monkey bar yeah a monkey bar and i think that's it so after this we just have to finishing up decorating the front porch and side porch area because we have the wrapped around porch and we'll be heading on to the screenshots so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you can find it under my EAID, which is Elfatiera, or under the hashtag PlamySins. You could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery, as well as the other link to grab the tray files from Simfile Shares. So, 
yeah i really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do please make sure to hit the thumbs up button also make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a new video and if you have any suggestions please just let me know thank you so so much for joining me today enjoy the rest of the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye